Hi everybody, my name is Gary Monk with Outdoor POV. Today we're going to run from Hartlepool, or roughly where the Hartlepool Park Run, Park Run starts, to Seaton Carew and then finish at the mouth of the River Tee. So it's nice and simple along a bit of a uh, path. And then if the tide is out, we'll drop down on the sand and just keep going until we hit the tees. So that is, that's pretty simple. It's such a beautiful day, so I thought, you know what, let's go to the seaside. So hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, take care and see you out on the run. So just to the left is the start of the Hartlepool Park Run. You can park around here. Um, it is free at the moment, but you really do need to be careful. We've got some signs up. Certain places the residents uh, don't want you to park. <coughs> Which is fair enough, I suppose. You get busy. Only for a short period of time, but what you get it is a super fast flat park run. Won't get down on the sand as soon as I walk, unfortunately. <clears throat> no, no. But yeah, if you get a good day down in Harleypool, could be one of the fastest park runs. The unfortunate thing is with it being on the coast, it's prone to be quite windy. But my uh, 5k PB was set here a couple of times. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> Nothing other people do if it's a good weather day. People hate the Hartley pool. <clears throat> and the annoying thing is, there's no real amenities, unfortunately, at the start. <clears throat> so, just about a mile up here, from the start, that is, sorry, you've got a toilet block. <clears throat> so, I go oh, quite often. So I quite often just use it as my so jog out here. Then I'll go to the toilet and then jog back and it's kind of warm-ups done. <coughs> and um, toilet stop and then good to go. I am gonna jump down on the beach actually. Hopefully. In my feet, I've already done it. Quite a long run this morning with a friend, Aaron. So, if you're watching this, Aaron, thanks for the company. So, my legs are pretty tired. <clears throat> so, if I can get down in the sand, that will save my oh, aching joints. What a beautiful day, my goodness. Hey, hey. It's a bit slippy. I'm guaranteed to get my feet wet. 
you still get a lot of um, kind of fine coal on the beach. Oh yeah, it's nice and soft. Hopefully, it's not rubbish. Come here quite a lot as a kid. Seaton crew. Oh yeah. I'm sure. <coughs> They'll make a movie about it one day. It's quite a famous story. Seaton crew. So if you Google, I don't want to get the fact wrong. But basically, a guy called John Darwin went off in a canoe didn't come back right and then he popped up I think video. I could be wrong he popped up in Panama saw some photographs of him <laughs> and then again I could be going, I could be getting this completely wrong but I'm sure when the penny dropped for him that his game was up he kind of stumbled into some police station all dazed and confused uh, in a nutshell apologies if I've got this wrong <laughs> google John Darwin please get it right yourself but I think it was an elaborate life insurance job <clears throat> but yeah I'm not uh, such a long it's not a long long time ago but a few years ago but yeah please google John Darwin canoe and uh, sure google will fill in my gaps that's quite a fascinating story so yeah just to your right there you got your loose in the car park <clears throat> all handy local facts if you're coming for the park run we've got a really uh, big wind farm out to the just offshore too got a lot of industry down in Teesside there's even a nuclear power station down there I guess it's a real tree. My legs aren't thanking me for it. Let's get out on the sand. And it's November and the car said 13 degrees. So I'm take that. My goodness me. Northeast coast, middle of November, 13 degrees. I think the run today is about three miles. See, I'd normally turn around. The park run route kind of runs along the path that we started on. A mile and a half, turns around and flies back. Super simple, super fast. There's been a few times where I've gone flying out thinking this is brilliant. Turned around and then you've hit. Oh, feels like an enormous headwind. <clears throat> Coming up on the right is a little fish and chip restaurant and takeout, probably closed at the moment, called uh, Surfside. <clears throat> That's really nice. Do lovely fish and chips. It doesn't look much though, it's kind of behind a metal fence, which is a bit unfortunate. But if, you, if you venture in there, you will, I hope at least you won't be disappointed.
a nice one, seabirds. Trying to get a spot of lunch. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's the first for me. I never would normally um, go as far as the teeth. I shouldn't get lost. Oh, I see. You won't be able to see, I don't think, but I can see Rosebury Topping in the distance. It's quite a little distinctive bit that's popping up on the horizon. So you've got the North Yorkshire Mills ahead, past all the industrial stuff. Further up there, you've got the Yorkshire Mills, North Yorkshire Mills, sorry. It's been many a uh, night and day running around up there. Some fantastic. X Valley Fail Racing Club or series, sorry, Hardmore series. <coughs> Further down the coast, we've got the Princess Challenge, which is a fundraiser. Uh, probably a few things they raise money for, but one of them would be Mountain Rescue. So, yeah, just to the right there's the side. It might be open for takeout. Nice bag of chips. Oh, definitely getting feet wet. Oh my goodness. Alright. No messing now. So now we're kind of properly in seeking crew, I suppose. Probably get quite a lot busier with people on the beach and dog walkers. Swap hands. My uh, right hand's going a bit numb, so swap to the left. Hopefully, it's a smooth transition. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. I used to run with a GoPro attached to my chest, but in uh, low light settings, it was dreadful. So it's much better, better footage with the gimbal, but unfortunately you've got to carry it. Oh, I'm pretty sure the surfside is open. Oh, I can smell those chips. Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> so back to the other now, hopefully I'll be okay for another mile. I hope the uh, camera picks up the colours, it's really nice. Sun's quite low to our right, hopefully you can actually see anything. It's a good point. GoPro is fantastic, but it's just such, such a small sensor <coughs> that sometimes what you think it's picking up isn't what it's picking up. Well, it's really is busy at this part of the beach. Let's go over here. I'm getting my feet wet again. Oh, 
Mm, that'd be nice. Too wet. My goodness me, it's busy. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get up on the uh, kind of breaker wall for the tees. Oh, I'm roasting. Got a long sleeve top and a t-shirt. I mean both from my neck too. <coughs> so yeah, really warm. And I'm only going very very slow. Oh someone's got a kite. There's a nature reserve at the mouth of the Tees. I'm not going to explore that today, but again, just to give you some geography to where things are. <coughs> it's very nice. in Karoo. I'm spending a bit of money on it now but hey a lot of these seaside small towns forgotten about by the local councils and the investment in the area is just well in my opinion I don't know the facts and figures but <coughs> in my opinion at least it's pretty it's pretty poor and they just kind of left to rot but at least now I seem to be spending some money. What annoying thing was, you used to have to pay for parking, and I appreciate councils. Pockets are stretched, funds are stretched. But it must be a, a burden on businesses when people like myself would have to drive into the area. Then you've got to say, pay to park, which is fine. in theory but there's not a lot of reasons to come to Seaton Crew when you've got other places local see them for example which you currently don't um, have to pay at the park so you might kind of make a decision economically if you are challenged financially at least you might think well I've got to see them instead the heritage course some lovely beaches, some lovely places to eat and drink too. <coughs> so you got some sand dunes too coming up. We're not going to go on the sand dunes, we might briefly actually to get onto the breaker wall. Just nice seeing people out enjoying the day. <coughs> you know what? I've not seen much litter, which is uh, a big personal gripe of mine. And it seems like people seem to appreciate where they're at and not make a mess of it. Of it.
got a nuclear power station in Hartlepool just over there behind the dunes <coughs> I actually went there as a school trip which memory right I, I think I actually enjoyed it looks like the horses have been out this morning that'd be pretty wicked if you enjoy riding horses to have the kind of beach to yourself early early hours So it's not a running to it today <coughs> as such but I thought you know, I'd chat along if there's anything I remembered normally if it's a tour you might not uh, believe it with the quality of the footage but it's quite a lot of work goes on behind the scenes I do try and have some kind of script not a script as such but a little bit of info about places that I run past <coughs> um, sometimes it doesn't always go to plan but today just winging it the route's quite simple just south towards the, the Tees the actual physical kind of content the chat at least anyway no prompts today it's made the gimbal a lot lighter normally I'd have something kind of strapped on my iPhone kind of strapped to the side with a little some text some prompts which has been really good for me because a lot of the places I might not know like I recently ran around London to some square gardens <coughs> Some of them I've been to before in the past, some of them I never had. I didn't realise that Lincoln in Fields was the largest square kind of garden in London. So all those little things are fantastic. Any opportunity to learn, no matter what it is, it's good, in my opinion at least. So we'll go as far as we can, if we can get up on there break a wall we will if we can't we won't <coughs> I think I can see people on it so that's good quiet down a bit now for people that was really busy back there so any any running youtubers if you want to improve the stability of your footage <coughs> and I really would invest in a gimbal the chest is great to be honest obviously you got your hands free but my experience was uh, if you do something like say you're coming down a technical rocky descent and you're kind of weaving left to right the footage uh, wasn't great And also in low light areas something about the chest you really 
mess things up. <clears throat> I think when your your body you kinda of not only bounce up and down, you're swaying left to right too and I didn't kind of realise how much you do that. And on a nice sunny day like today to be honest, the the, the chest you will be fine. But on a see you're running through trees, that was a big problem. So the two things I do, if it's that kind of situation, this is mainly primarily, primarily for helping people if they're struggling with footage in low light. I turn off, this is the Hero 8 black, so can't speak for the 9. But I, I A, put it in a gimbal, and I would B, not have it on the, the highest smoothing settings. It would still have some stabilization on. And that was fundamentally the kind of two things I did to improve the footage from low light and a wooded areas. You still do get some problems, but it's tons better. So yeah, I think you can get up on this breaker wall. Well, you know what, we'll go as far as we can. Oh, it's really hard work on the sand. I wonder if there's a path on the other side of this dune. Oh! Now there's something. Up ahead is the uh, steel. Steel works. So it seems to be on the news every week that place. Mothballing it, new buyers. Not interested really. It's mucky money. They don't care about dirty industry. It's all financial sector. Don't want to get too political obviously. Oh my goodness mate, that is pain. Oh, not a place to come with shorter. Don't want to get too political, but they seem to bail out organisations. Some organisations, and some organisations, they don't seem to think they're viable. Find money to do certain things. I don't know the wisdom behind it all. All I know is as a country, we're pretty good at innovation, but industry-wise, that ship would <laughs> be a bad analogy, but that ship has sailed. Nice, totally. Winging it. <coughs> That's quite nice actually. I literally haven't been here ever in my life. Good workout in the sand dunes. All right, cheers. Oh, thank you. I'll go this way, all right. Oh, all right. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. Let's 
taking a bit longer than I thought, but it looks like we're getting there. <coughs> I think on the way back I'll drop, just keep down on the sand. Uh, well, there's a gate there, but there's people at the other side, so let's see what the gate says. Whoops. So how do we do this for the rocks? And scramble up there. Let's try that. Whoops a daisy. Treacherous. So slowly but surely made our way through the dunes. And this is uh so now we're in a nature reserve, Teesmouth Nature Reserve part of Part of natural England. So, yeah. Wouldn't have been what did we get? There you go, people are going past the fence, but uh, not me. So that's it, um, about three and a half miles from Hartley Pool to the mouth of the River Tees, the mighty Tees. Uh, I really enjoyed it, um, it's such a lovely spot, even you know, even all the industry in the background. Um, it really is kind of mesmerizing really, especially the moors in the back, you've got the sea, the North Sea there. So I really enjoyed it, I uh, hope you did too, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you know, if you think somebody else might like it, then please give it a share. And um, <laughs> what else am I going to say? <laughs> yeah, sorry, please give it a share. Uh, what else, what else, what else? So sorry, no, I got it all wrong. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody else might like the video, then give it a share. And if you want to see more videos from the outdoor POV, then please subscribe. That's it, got it correct. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. Yeah, take care everybody. Thanks again for watching. Um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers, bye-bye.